Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market analysis dated October 21, 2022. Indian equity markets rose today on account of good quarterly results. Nifty opened gap up around 17,622 and managed to make a day high of 17,670. After that we can see some profit booking. At the time of close Nifty managed to close above 17,575 which is a good sign. Similarly Sensex climbed up almost 104 points to give a closing of 59,307. Talking about sectors, banking sectors were the top performers today on account of good quarterly results from Axis Bank. Nifty PSU Bank and Nifty Bank rose 1.85% and 1.71% respectively. Now, talking about the three stocks that have managed to be in gainers list today are Axis Bank, ICICI Bank and Kodak Bank. All of these stocks are from banking sector. All banking stock showed positive signs today. Top three stocks mentioned above rose by 9.46%, 2.38% and 2.22% respectively. On the other hand we will talk about those three stocks which ended as top losers. They are Bajaj Finance, Bajaj Finserve and Divislab. They fell within the range of 2.43% to 3.4% respectively. Talking about the corporate news, we have Indian billionaire Gautam Adani's group is looking to raise at least $10 billion in new debt over the next year as his conglomerate seeks to refinance its high-cost borrowings and fund projects in the pipeline. Using multiple instruments including foreign currency debt and green bonds, the Adani Group plans to raise up to $6 billion to swap its existing high-interest debt with lower-cost borrowings and deploy the rest for project financing. Axis Bank on Thursday reported a 70% jump in standalone net profit at 5,329.77 rupees crore in the July-September quarter of FY23 on healthy core income supported by fall in bad loans. Also, the income from investments during the quarter rose by 27%, adding to bank's profit numbers further. Colgate-Palmolive reported quarterly profit above market estimates on Thursday, benefiting from price increases it had implemented to counter the blow from a surge in raw material costs. Overall service line volumes for the business grew in the high teens in quarter two financial year 2023 over a large base of the same quarter last year. Bajaj Finance Limited reported a record quarterly profit on Thursday, beating estimates on improved demand for loans and better asset quality. Demand for credit has remained strong in India despite a series of interest rate hikes by the central bank in its fight against inflation, with both banks and shadow lenders reporting strong lending growth as consumers look to make more purchases. Central Bank of India is up for a fifth straight session today. The stock is quoting at 20.05 rupees, up 0.25% on the NSE. Central Bank of India has slipped around 5.87% in last one month. The volume on the stock stood at 41.43 lakh shares today, compared to the daily average of 40.64 lakh shares in last one month. HDFC Asset Management Company Limited rose for a fifth straight session today. The stock is quoting at 2,062.8 rupees, up 1.35% on the NSE. HDFC Asset Management Company Limited has gained around 7.61% in last one month. The volume in the stock stood at 3.82 lakh shares today, compared to the daily average of 2.72 lakh shares in last one month. Punjab National Bank is up for a fifth straight session in a row. The stock is quoting at 41.1 rupees, up 1.48% on the NSE. Punjab National Bank has added around 1.48% in last one month. The volume in the stock stood at 722.16 lakh shares today, compared to the daily average of 605.57 lakh shares in last one month. Indian Bank is up for a fifth straight session today. The stock is quoting at 233.9 rupees, up 5.74% on the NSE. 
Indian Bank has gained around 15.85% in last one month. The volume on the stock stood at 49.4 lakh shares today, compared to the daily average of 14.62 lakh shares in last one month. MRF Limited gained for a fifth straight session today. The stock is quoting at 87,350 rupees, up 3.78% on the NSE. MRF Limited has risen around 3.36% in last one month. The volume in the stock stood at 21,665 shares today, compared to the daily average of 11,633 shares in last one month.